I think genius is a word that gets used so much more for men. I've always found that word very problematic. I'm here to change that, I guess. Here we are. I was doing a lot of 3D animation and 3D uh, modeling, but just like seeing something that you modeled in a virtual space coming to life from this digital space to a physical space, layer by layer, I just thought that's, that's crazy that you can just do that. I was doing a lot of research around how oil relates to both jihad but also like capitalism. And then the video of ISIS destroying the artifacts at Mosul Museum came out. I was like, okay, how, how can I like relate this? Because everything that I'm reading right now, everything that I'm working on is, is about this, like right, destruction and how the 3D printer then become this, this machine that rebirthed these things. We were recreating them based on images. And once I started to do research on these artifacts that were destroyed, I realized that there was such a lack of information about them. I contacted so many historians and scholars that specifically work on Hatra or Mosul. I wanted to find a way that I would share that, give access both to kind of the sculptures, but also this information that I gathered. So inside each artifact, there is a memory card um, and flash drive that is embedded that contains all the information. PDF files, images, uh, videos, even my email correspondent with, with different scholars. The more people read about it, the more people printed those pieces, the more people even saved it on their computers, the more these things will get saved and remembered. I was really interested in figuring out what are the material that I can use that would be the closest to the original material, which was like actually like a stone, more like dense material, right? I just thought resin would be cool because like it almost looks like a ghost of these objects. I only had seen at that point the object in a digital space, in a virtual space, and then seeing it in a physical space is a very different experience. So I just remember opening the door of the 3D printer and having this thing printed, but it would be so much like support material around it, so it almost felt like dug in, in the ground. It was very like archaeological in some ways. There's really no way to replace these objects that were destroyed. To me, that's where like the beauty of that project was, when I could just use the technology to archive something that was meant to be lost or destroyed. All the stories of superheroes are 99% about men. We have like very little figures that are superheroes that are women. And I was looking to find these female dark goddess figures from different mythical narratives based in the Middle East, bringing them back, not just reappropriating their, their form and sculpture, but also refiguring their stories. If you want to like imagine other kind of futures, I think you need new figures, new stories, new histories to use as a point of departure. I obviously like use technology, so I have a lot of hope around that and what's possible with it. But I also think there's like a very dark side of it, which is that who gets to have access to what technology and use it in what way. But also, you can make small changes. I, I really, really do believe in the power of micro changes for macro influences.